اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Linear regression. Now what will you learn? For a linear relationship, I use the least squares regression line to model the pattern in the data and to make predictions. So we will use a regression analysis in order to predict a certain outcome based on certain predictors. Now previously, we have used scatter plot to describe the relationship between two quantitative variables. We described the pattern in the data by describing the direction, form, and strength of relationship. Following the scatter plot, we looked into correlation analysis as well, and that explained how to ass assess the strength of relationship between variables. Now, this was achieved by correlation coefficient that actually guided us on how to measure the direction and strength of linear relationship. So linear regression, when do we use it? Linear regression is a statistical method used to predict the value of the dependent variable based on the values of the independent variables. Now here are some of the examples when linear regression might be utilized. Now we want to predict the price of a house based on its size, number of bedrooms and location. So we can predict the price of the house based on these three predictors. And to do so, we can use linear regression. We can predict sales revenue based on marketing expenditure, competitor activity and economic indicators. Obviously for this we need previous data. For example, I want to predict the sales for 2023. So I need data for 2022, 2021, 2020 and previous maybe 10, 15, 20 years in order to predict my data or my sales for this particular year. Now, estimating the probability of default on a loan based on the characteristics of the borrower. And those characteristics include credit score, annual income, debt to income ratio. And you can determine the relationship between student test scores and the number of hours they spend studying. And finally, another example could be, well, let's say I've collected data through a survey and I've asked people questions about their student satisfaction, how responsible their university is, how good the service is, how good the leadership is. And then based on that, I can predict the student satisfaction using the scores of university social responsibility, service quality and university leadership. Now, these are the previous scatter plots that we have done and they were this one, the top one and the bottom one. These were done in R. So how do we make the predictions? Now, earlier we examined the linear relationship between vision and performance. Suppose we want to predict organizational performance based on how well the vision is communicated within the organization. How could we make a prediction using the linear pattern in the data? Here again, the scatter plot of vision and organizational performance. Now here they are. Our first step is to model the pattern in the data with a line. Now look at this. This is the line. Now if you look here, as you increase the score of vision, the score for organizational performance tends to increase. So if you look at these data points here, these are high organizational performance points. And at the same time, you've got high vision score here as well. To use this line to make prediction, we find the point on the line with an X value of 6. Where is X value of 6? Here it is. Simply trace from 6 directly up the line. Let's go up the line. Now, majority of the points are around this line here. So this shows and look at these all these points here. Now look at these points here, these lines, these points here, these points here. They are around here, this line here. And these are higher organizational performance at high vision. So when you increase the vision score, your organizational performance tends to increase. Now here is the basic idea. 
The closer the line is to all the data points, the better the line summarizes the pattern in the data. Notice when the line is close to the data points, it gives better predictions. A good prediction means the predicted Y value from the line is close to the actual Y value for the data point. Now here, your data points are more or less very close to this line. And most of the time we can see that when the score of vision is increasing, there is a higher score for OP. So vision can be referred to as a good predictor for organizational performance. Let us now run regression analysis in SPSS. So I already have my composite variables. Now this is my dependent variable. These two are my predictors. How do we run a regression analysis in SPSS? Now what I intend to do is I want to find out how much variance in organizational performance is being explained by these two variables, vision and development. Now all three are continuous variables. In order to run regression analysis, what I will do is I will go to analyze, regression, linear regression. Let's put in my dependent variable that is being influenced by these two other variables. Vision is my independent variable. So is my development variable. Method, enter. There are other methods as well, which we are going to look in detail in coming sessions. Now we can have different statistics as well. For now, we are just going to keep things simple. We can assess Durbin Watson. We can assess R square change. Let's say we can have descriptives as well and we can have collinearity diagnostics as well. Just press continue. Let's have Durbin Watson as well. Continue. And we can have different residual plots, histograms and all other details as well. For now, I'm just going to keep things simple and let's press OK. Now here are our results. Now, if you look here, this is the descriptive statistics, the mean value for OP, vision and development. Well, it seems all right. There is no issue. Here is your correlation between different variables. And we have already discussed the correlation table previously. The video will be shared in the description as well. Now, just double check the variables entered and removed. Yes, your dependent variable is OP. Yes, your predictors are development and vision. Now this is the model summary. Now overall, we can see there is a significant impact of the predictors on the outcomes. So this is the correlation value and I'm interested in this one, R square 0.564. This shows that 56.4%, if you multiply it with 100, you will have the percentage. 56.4% change in organizational performance is being explained by development and vision. Now F square change, it is significant. Durbin Watson, less than 2.5. So there is no autocorrelation issue as well. ANOVA table, overall the model is significant. 218.81. Now since we added it in the same block, so the F square change and the F, F value is the same. Now we are going to use this regression and residual value when we are reporting our results. The coefficients. Are both predictors significant? Yes, both predictors are significant. Is there any multicollinearity issue? No, there is no multicollinearity issue because this is less than five. And both have a positive impact because there is no negative sign with it. The T statistics is greater than 1.96. This shows vision and development have got a significant impact on organizational performance, positive impact. So if you increase the understanding of vision, that how well the vision is communicated, this will have a significant impact on organizational performance. If the organization improves on the development initiatives, this is going to have a significant impact as well and much better than what vision has. Now let's report our results. So I've got a template here. Now let's say this is the objective of my research to assess the impact of vision and development on organizational performance and the following hypotheses were proposed. H1, there is a significantly positive impact of vision on organizational performance. 
there is a significantly positive impact of development on organizational performance. The dependent variable organizational performance was regressed on predicting variable vision and development. The independent variable significantly predict organizational performance. So where is my F statistic? 218.181 and this is regression residual 2338 two three three eight two let's have a look again two one eight one eight two one eight point one eight one the p-value was less than point zero zero one because it is point zero 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 this indicates that the two factors in the study have a significant impact on organizational performance your r square value 0.564 0.564 depicts that the model explains 56.4% change if you multiply it with 100 in the organizational performance and now this variance this change is being explained by the two predictors that is vision and development now additionally you assess the two predictor variables and its impact on the criterion variable of organizational performance H1 evaluates whether vision has a significant impact on OP and the results do reveal a significant impact and you type it in here. 0.226, let me copy this table, paste it, so beta value 0 0.266, the T value is 6.011. Six point zero zero one, and the p-value is so it is less than 0 0.001 and hence h1 was supported now similarly you can do it for h2 as well just copy the beta value the t-value and the p-value again and h2 was supported as well and once you do that let's see our table Again, in the table, you can mention F statistics 218, 181, 56.4 if I'm not wrong. Yep, 56.4 and this is your R square or you can mention 0 0.564. And again, the beta value, the T value and the P value. So where is your beta value? It is 0 0.266. The T value is 6.001. The P value is 0 0.000. Here it is for vision. And similarly, you can do it for development as well. 0 0.532. T value is 11. 686 and the p-value is 0 0.000 and both results are supported so this is how you can perform a regression analysis in spss then report your regression analysis results and present it in the table as well i hope this session would have helped you understand regression analysis and how to report it thank you very much